Either. Oh, you shouldn't be up and you shouldn't be dressed. You want to cancel tonight's surgical list? Half of Ferndale has already lost power. Yeah, but we haven't. And we have brand new, very expensive backup generators. Which I have zero faith in. So you want to cancel a raft of life-saving surgeries just in case they fail? The installation process has been a fiasco. Yeah, I'm well aware of that. Vivian's fool of a husband compromised our electrical systems. A work in progress, yes. But the generators have had several successful test runs this week, and the DHB won't accept us shutting up shop when they poured millions into making us more resilient. So, if you don't mind, I need to go upstairs. What for? Well, you were right to be concerned about tonight. Could be a major weather event. All hands on deck. But you can't work. I can help. You're booked for an MRI. I'll rebook. Chris, please, from what I've seen, you're not a well man. Well, that's just it. I'm, I'm feeling better. That doesn't mean you are better. Well, I'm not just a patient, Francesca. I'm also a physician trained, attuned to what's going on in my own body, the heart condition, the neurological issues. It's been a hell of a week. I understand. But now, somehow, moment by moment, I'm feeling better. Something doesn't add up here. Something is definitely wrong, which is why you need the MRI. But let's do the math. Chris plus Vivian equals feeling better. Am I right? Well, perhaps you are. Where's Viv now, after I heard she was huddled in here with you? She's talking to her fool of a husband. Breaking the bad news. And that's what worries me. You're hurt. Liam's okay. He's been admitted. Yeah. You saved him, Chris. Got there just in time. Oh, the hospital got its power back just mm. in time. Mm. Liam still had an engineer on site. This isn't Maine's power. Storm's still raging. Half of Ferndale's still dark. We'll be lucky if we're back online by tomorrow. So Liam came through? In the end. I went in there to confront him, yell at him, abuse him. Vivian tried to stop me. Well, you were angry. You thought he'd let the hospital down. I've let all this get too personal. Why, Liam did what he did. I... Love, money, the lack of both. We can never really know what's going on in someone's mind. We can just listen, truly listen. Remember to be kind. And I failed at both. Distracted by Viv. Yeah. Well, I can't fix that but we should get you to the MRI while we've still got power. You're expecting another failure? Frankly, it wouldn't surprise me, but we're pushing ahead with the surgical list as per your instructions. I don't think I need an MRI. Physically, I'm, I'm feeling better. So you say, but your hand? Well, it's not shaking. Maybe it's not Parkinson's. Symptoms appearing and then fading so quickly. Something's definitely wrong. You just collapsed an ED. Nearly collapsed. I pushed myself too far, too quickly. Like you're doing with Viv? Sorry. Pulling my head in and getting you that MRI. Outside, please. Come on, chop, chop. Nasty wind's all gone. Are you an official ward? No, no, no time for that. Please, just go, 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 go. go. Leanne. Go, go, go. Where's Chris? Doing his job. But he needs something. He needs you outside. Now, you too, Leanne. 